Okay, boys and girls. I don't remember where we finished off. We have example five. Where were we? Wrong letter C. Okay, well, let's do B one more time. It says B is going to be reflected over the x-axis. If it's reflected over the x-axis, is that a vertical reflection or horizontal? Vertical. So is that on the outside or the inside? It's going to be on the outside. So we have G of x is equal to, we'll have a negative on the outside. Then we want to horizontally shrink it by a factor of 4. If I put a 4 on the inside, will that shrink it? Yes. To the third power, and then it shifted down 3. What do I do there? Subtract 3. That's a vertical uh, shift of 3 units. So that's what I got. So that, that's what you should have. If you, you know, multiply this through, you, know, you get g of x is equal to negative 64 x to the third minus 3. I mean, you can leave it like that as well. That would be fine. Okay. Okie dokie. Um, f of x is x squared reflected over the y-axis. So that's our parent function, x squared reflected over the y-axis. Is that horizontal or vertical? Horizontal, so is the negative on the inside or the outside? Inside. Then I need to vertically stretch it by a factor of 10. Outside or inside? Outside. Shifted left, three units. Inside. And shifted down, 4.6 units. This one's a little trickier, okay? I, I want you guys to think about this really quick. If I take x squared and I reflect it about the y-axis, does it change at all? doesn't change at all okay so uh, if we were to put it in there we could put a minus X but at the end of the day flipping over the Y axis doesn't change it at all so you could write it like this G of X is equal to vertically stretched by a factor of 10 so we could have a 10 X squared but it's got to be shifted left three units so it's going to be X what plus three And shifted down 4.6. So, you know, there's some steps there to kind of give you the type of transformation you're looking for. Any questions there? Could you do these on your homework assignment? <laughs> Casey has the utmost confidence in her math capabilities today. All right. Okay. We flip back uh, one page, uh, or maybe it's your next page. I don't know where. Uh, odd and even functions, and we'll get to the other side. I went out of order because I thought yesterday we'd finish that up. Uh, we've already talked about odd and even functions before, haven't we? If a function is odd, do you remember what what we know about the powers of the function? Powers are odd. And furthermore, if a function is odd, it is symmetrical about the origin. And finally, the test that we used to see if it was an odd function, we plugged in negative x to the function, and we got out negative f of x. Even functions. Powers are even. Anybody know what's symmetrical about? Y axis. How do I know these things? How do I remember them? I just I just make up a graph, you guys. So an odd function would be like x to the third, right? Well, that's symmetrical about the origin, so that way I can remember this stuff. An even function would be x squared. 
That's symmetrical about the Y axis. And the test that we use is again, we plug in negative X and we get out our original function. So in both situations, you plug in a negative X in one you get the opposite of the function in the other one you get that exact same function. So let's do three tests to see if they're odd or even. Then you guys can start your assignment. Can I move on from here? Okay, the back side. Oh, whoa, whoa. Speak up. Did you guys see James Harden's game last night? 37. I'm thinking about doing No Shave November. I don't know that. that that's that's kind of hairy. It's yeah. I could grow my beard out, cut it off, then glue it on my head. That'd be cool. All right. Uh, determine if the following functions are odd, even, or neither. So. What what do I do again? What do I what do I plug in? Negative x. So I plug in negative x. Now will be negative x quantity to the third minus four times a negative x. And I want to start simplifying that. What do you get? Negative x to the third plus four x. Does that look like what I started with? Not exactly, but it's close, right? What could I do? Factor out a negative, and you would get positive x to the third minus 4x. Does that look like what I have at the beginning? Yeah, so that's really just negative f of x. And so we came up with f of negative x is equal to negative f of x, which is at the definition of odd, even, or neither. Odd. So this is odd. Think about the graph ahead of time. The second one, negative x squared plus 10. You think it's going to be odd, even, or neither? Even, yeah, because your exponent here, it's 10x to the 0 power. So we should be able to show that. Let's try it. f of negative x is equal to negative parentheses negative x squared plus 10. What's negative negative x squared? Negative x squared, because you have three negatives. Two with the squared and one out front. So I have negative x squared plus 10. Does that look familiar? Yeah, that's identical to f of x, which is our, you know, our original function. So we're good to go there. And then finally, I have my last one. Any thoughts? You think it's even? Yeah, again, you have 1x to the 0 power. All of your exponents are even. It should work out the same. And it definitely does. We have negative x, quantity to the 4th, minus the negative x, quantity squared, plus 1. That gives us x to the 4th, minus x squared, plus 1. Which is f of x, which is the definition of even Steven. We have even, even, and the first one was odd. That's all there is to it. Any questions? Going once, twice, thrice. Your assignment, 2.5, page 194. Numbers 5 through 8, 11, 12, 25 through 40, and 53, 56. Uh, some of the problems look like they take, you know, like there's a lot of them. Uh, there were people who finished this assignment within 25 minutes uh, during uh, second hour. So You also have your parent function worksheet from the other day. This is eighth hour. This is the last day that you have class before your nice three-day break. This has the potential to therefore be a social session. Please dedicate your time to this. 
I want a great calculus test that were just given today. And I have four people in back who are testing and Cole over here. If I have to move them, I could, but I'd rather that we just keep everybody here and uh, that we can work quietly. So please uh, uh, stand task and work quietly. 